up fight fans, I'm Jay Cotto, and welcome to Boxing in Jedi's Tavern. And it's a little bit past my bedtime, and I just figured I'd drop one more video, man. I've been dropping videos galore for the Star Wars community. I can't forget about the boxing community, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk about something that's really been bothering me, man. And what's been bothering me is uh, this thing where you know you've got guys coming out saying that Deontay Wilder is better than Muhammad Ali, you know, then you've also got guys saying that Deontay Wilder would knock Mike Tyson out, and Mike Tyson's, uh, you know, overrated, because Mike Tyson lost to Buster Douglas, and lost to Vander Holyfield, and lost to Lennox Lewis, you know, and, and it's just getting to a point, it's getting to the point that you know, boxing fans like myself, man, that have been watching the greats and people become great and people become whoever the fuck they are within the sport and guys that have been graduating, you know, and, and winning titles and unifying and, and to, to the point that now that they're at this stage where these young fucks are coming in, they're known. They're known as legends. The thing here is that these fucking young guys don't don't respect foundation. These guys don't respect what was put before them. These guys never respect anything. Now, you can tell from a long time ago, and bust how I pieced this together. You can tell from a long time ago that Lennox Lewis was selling out. And his favorite was Deontay Wilder. He was showing him a long time ago when Deontay Wilder wasn't even hot, right? I think when he first won his title or something like that, that bullshit title. Well, he came out and uh, just basically, uh, you know, was showing him how to jab and different techniques of the jab. and Right? Do you think that man put that to use at all? Nope. Right? So and then now when it comes down to the get down, what happened? See, we all know the truth here, especially if you're a hardcore boxing fan, especially if you've been watching boxing for a long time. Now, I'm not saying that since you didn't watch boxing in the late in the in the early '80s, through the mid '80s, through the late '80s, through the early '90s, through the mid '90s, through the late '90s. All the no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. And 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 some casuals actually graduate and become hardcore boxing fans because they are the ones and I'm only speaking of the good humbled casuals the ones that are willing to learn the ones that actually you know pay homage to the greats and the ones that actually respect ones that have been you know watching the sport way before they have and is just basically trying to teach them a few things you see those I can respect but I can't respect these guys who follow ideologies and then right away because someone said it or that or that fighter said it verbatim because he's got his own agenda that these guys follow this motherfucker. Now, is it permissible? Is it okay for us to actually let this shit go by? Well, if you're passionate about the sport like I am, no, you can't let it go by. And this is why I don't let shit like that go by. I can't let it go by. You know what I'm saying? It gets to a point. It gets to a point that when you watch guys like Mike Tyson, you know, who put on a pair of boxing gloves and did it because he wanted to be like Joe Lewis. He wanted to, you know what I'm saying? He wanted that greatness. He wasn't worried about no motherfucking money because the money was coming along with his work ethic. Now, these guys don't know what the fuck they're doing. And I don't care about any of you motherfuckers who's riding hard for Deontay Wilder. I don't give a shit. Because this is what it's really, 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 really in real life, in real fucking life, you toy-ass niggas, this is exactly what's going down. And I'm going to break it down to you. Deontay Wilder can't fight for shit. My man's whole passion was fucking other sports like basketball. And he just happened to pick up boxing. Just happened to pick up boxing. Now all of a sudden, he's back. Now, now he's passionate about acting. I had claimed a long time ago that he was never going to fight Joshua because he knows what will happen. 
So the best thing he's going to do is he's going to chase Rocky Marciano's record, the real heavyweight record, 49-0, not the welterweight 49-0 that's been done before fucking Mayweather. To this day, I got to hear shit like Mayweather is better than fucking Muhammad Ali because he fought fucking 26, 25 fucking champions, but they were all padded and stipulated, except for when he fought under, uh, under the banner of, of top rank. And we can all fucking agree with that. But back to Wilder with this bullshit. Wilder is nowhere, and he even said it, y'all can take it how you want it. Well, I'm going to take it how it's supposed to be taken. Offensive. Motherfucker, you wish you could be like Ali. You wish you were as close as Ali. You wish you even had the motherfucker's jab, son. And compared, and compared to these guys, you know, even compared to Ken Norton, compared to Ernie Shavers, you know what I'm saying? Even, even George Foreman, who sold his own fucking self out and said that you would have beat him in his head, they would have fucked you up. We can go into the early 90s and I can tell you that Moore would have killed you. Fucking Ray Mercer would have killed you. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Tim Witherspoon would have broke you in half. You know what I'm saying? What's the math is? I mean, you know, it's, 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 these are facts that I'm saying. Now, if you guys want to come out around and say that bullshit and cover them up like a little fucking girl, you know what I'm saying? With this bullshit, this bullshit that you, like, that, that you guys love talking about, which is, which is fucking, how do you, how do you say it? How do you say it? You know what I'm about to say. Different fight selection. Okay, you can say that. You can say that. But now that you're saying that, remember, motherfuckers. Remember, you fucking dummies. You said it. You said it. Different fight selection. Different era. So then, if the sport evolved, don't you think that the competition should be much more fierce? Huh? Don't you think that everything that Deontay Wilder is saying, everybody's scared of him. Nobody's calling him out. Uh, uh, he's the baddest man in the planet. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You don't see no motherfuckers like Tyson Fury kissing the hand of fucking Mike Tyson. Deontay Wilder will never get his hand kissed by any fucking other heavyweight champion. Simply because Mike Tyson's boxing royalty. You guys, you guys don't know shit about boxing. And, and as many as you motherfuckers there are... Is as many is as many as you will fucking fall on top of each other, piled out in a fucking debate. You know, a lot of you guys love to do this shit, and instead of being real fucking fight fans, the first thing that you stupid motherfuckers do is you fucking scapegoat the nigga and you allow him to say these things. But but and then when motherfuckers like myself come out and debunk his whole shit, you think. You guys think that you have a right to come onto my fucking channel and try to tell me I don't know shit about boxing when all you're doing is ball licking, dick riding, cock jumping over no facts? Like I said, man, it's all good. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? I would like to say peace to my man, Shady Slim. Regardless how much of a fucking con fanatic he is, no God, regardless of how much additives and preservatives that he adds on to his shit, the man stepped up and debated me. There's a lot of motherfuckers on that side that love to talk the talk and will only debate themselves. And they only would debate motherfuckers who are nervous. Ain't nothing nervous here with this dude here, with this man. There's nothing wrong with me, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sick and tired of y'all motherfuckers, man. I'm tired of the factions, I'm tired of the casuals, I'm tired of the fucking casual hardcores, which are hardcore f- fucking uh, uh, fight fans, but they prefer to be fucking casual. They, refer, they, they prefer to just, to just come out like casuals and, and, and cover up and talk, and you know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's something that, that, you know, just like Adrian Broner got his hood pass revoked, you motherfuckers should get your fucking boxing fan fucking uh, pass revoked. For real, for real. Don't give a fuck how long you've been fucking kicking the sport for. That's like, that's like a bitch named Kamala Harris sucking dick to get to the top and now she's running for president. You think that it's permissible to actually vote for this bitch because of her morale and how she got to the top and she want to run the country? Do you think that's safe? So let me guess, let me guess, side bitches... 
is presidency now? Get the fuck out of here. So what I'm saying here is to the analogy that that it's okay for the casuals and you fucking you 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 fucking ideologists out there with your fucking with your bullshit and your non-boxing fucking sense and your 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 fucking mixed up bullshit, your intertwined bullshit. You think you can actually come and and make it permissible for fucking casual fucking fighters like this. Niggas that that take 40 years, it takes 39 fights to fight a real fucking opponent. You, you think that we should let this shit rock? It's not going to happen. And let me explain to you exactly what hashtag come back to boxing is in case you motherfuckers don't know. And I'm only sure you guys do know because you guys stood away from it. There's a lot of motherfuckers over there that try to talk about the hashtag and they just got fucking smacked down. They got fucking cooked. They didn't like the way I was talking about I don't give a fuck. You don't have to like it, you fucking leg crossing faggots. That's all you motherfuckers are to me, man. And, and, and there are other people that are blasting y'all out. Regardless, they got their agendas. Regardless, they flip-flop. They still airing y'all niggas out. But nobody's doing it like I'm doing it. Nobody's doing it to all your factions, to all your fucking casuals. It's just me, the junkyard dog, son. A.K.A. Mace Windu. It's just me, dog. It's just me. It's just me. And I got the strength of, 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 of 117 fucking great followers. Who have been there for a long time and even the new ones. The new ones have found a platform. They have found a home here. The Boxing and Jedi's Tavern. A lot of you motherfuckers are on my dick sick secretly. You guys look up to me secretly. And you guys hate me every fucking day. Because you wish that you could fucking be like me. Where's the proof? The thumbs down. The thumbs down. Yes it's there. That's an opinion. No doubt. But even even on the Star Wars platform, <laughs> you guys act like I don't do my homework. You, act, you, you guys act like I don't know how to go into my systems and see exactly who's thumbing me down because there, there's an option for that. But you motherfuckers are so illiterate, so dumb. You guys are so desperate to just to just have a win. Well, let me tell you something. Just like I called it, I have been the only motherfucker that has been calling this. And everybody, all 817 followers, have been there on the lives, have seen the videos of me claiming this, what I'm about to say. And it had happened, it has happened, and I said this, and it's, and it's happening, it's coming to fruition. It happened with Danny Garcia, it happened with Charlo, both of them, it happened with Adrian Brona. Errol Spence Jr. is next, and, the, and, and, and Keith Thurman, because of his layoff and his talking shit and his overconfidence, is happening to him too. The only guy that's not going to have a problem in that PBC there and it's going to look like a real fighter like he is now is Sean Porter. Sean Porter is the only guy that's saying, I want to fight this guy, I want to fight, and, he, and it's for real. Regardless if you like his fight style or not, I'm talking about the work ethic. So now, all of, all of your hip-hop boxers are, are going to get exposed. Tank Davis is next. And it's going to happen. And it's not that I want to see the black man fall. It's not. No, it's, it's got nothing to do. Let's get that shit out the way. It's got nothing to do with racial politics. It has nothing to do with skin tone. It has nothing to do with anything like that. It has to do with the way these gentlemen are not taking care of themselves, but yet they say they, they're better than the greats, but yet they don't even have a training regimen that's even one third of what the fucking greats used to, how, on how the greats used to fucking train. It's not even that fucking close. So you guys got to understand that you putting Mike Tyson down, you know, you guys putting Ali down, you know, you, 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 Wilder can't even do that. What makes you think you can go ahead and agree with that shit? You should know the difference between that's a fucking lie and that's the fucking truth. You guys got to know the difference because if you don't, then that means you, 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 you still need homeschooling, you need a fucking helmet, you need a yellow bus, and you need a fucking tutor in life. That's what that shit means. You can call it smoke, you can call it beef, you can call... I don't give a fuck, a debate is a debate. And, the, and, and I have lifted all of your fucking skirts. 
Every one of y'all that have come on my channel and I have debate and I have challenged to debates, you niggas never showed up. Why? Because you don't know shit about boxing. None of you. And I'm talking to big channels too. See, I don't bother with niggas like Boxing Ego or any other fuck face. Like, I don't bother. You know why? Because these niggas are clickbait. I am a tavern that consists of boxing and Star Wars. I am one person with a strong following of real, real. Like, I got 817 subscribers and it's growing every other day. But you got to understand, we're like the 300. You know what I'm saying? It's us against them. Like, 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 my subscribers, they're fucking gladiators, bro. They're warriors. They're everything that has to do with fighting spirits, man. And I love each and every one of them from number one all the way to one to 817. You see? And, 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 and when I was talking to you and I told you exactly this, that you need to be your own person. You need to go out and get your own platform. You can't follow nobody's ideologies. If you're going to make a little click, then you make a little click and you keep it positive. A lot of you guys are just are here on some fucking trying to jump people. And, 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 and then, you know, you guys love to have debates and it's like five of y'all against one. Try that shit with me. Try that shit with me. This isn't the first time that I've been, I've been fucking, you know what I'm saying? I've been saying this. So it's 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 getting close to the get down. It's been it's been it's been coming close to the get down ever since the May pack after it finished. A lot of these channels had opened up to either bash Mayweather or bash Pacquiao. And now that that shit is over, these guys are nowhere to be found, son. And if they did come back, was was the first thing that they they fucking went and tried to fucking cape and staple another fucking flow mo, another flow mo fucking uh uh, you know what I'm saying, saint and shit. And they went and 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 they trying to brand Andre Ward. They try to brand. I mean, you know, you guys are fucking pathetic. All you factions and you casuals and and you guys are fucking pathetic, pathetic. And you guys are fucking. Dicks, because the first, you know, you you guys all started this shit as soon as fucking Mayweather went fucking racial, Poochie out, and all this other shit, and then you guys started with your shit. As soon as Mayweather said, "There's no, the, 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 there's no, the, the, boxing doesn't have a, a a a black face to be the leader of boxing," which is a fucking lie, all because a Chinese basketball player. Made headlines in the NBA and played amazing. And you can't even give motherfuckers their own credit. And it was said by the most prima donna nigga, the most diva ass nigga in the world, Floyd Mayweather Jr. But hold up, wait a minute. Here comes the big fucking school bus contradiction that you niggas should get for Christmas a fucking set of helmets. Because now all of a sudden, as soon as he said all lives matter, you motherfuckers started throwing jumpsuits out, burning. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. You guys are fucking jokes, bro. So you threw the man out. You threw the fucking man out. But you want, but you want to keep his fucking politics, though. You, you know, you guys, you guys are a bunch of fucking faggots, bro. You know what I'm saying? People claim they got the realest fucking channel on YouTube. Nah, man, nah. I've been doing this shit for eight years, kid. This nigga here, right here, me. That's right. That's right. And like I said, I don't be swinging these shits until there's a whole fucking pit full of fucking bodies of fucking casuals and casual ass factions and motherfuckers who think that they're, they're, they're knowledgeable and, the, and when you break shit down, these niggas don't know shit. This is why. This is why you guys could never fuck with me.
and understand that shit. Otherwise than that, I am your boy, Jay Cotto, telling the truth within the sport of boxing. If you haven't subbed and you ran into this video, sub. You found yourself a good place to call home if you're looking for pure fucking unbiased boxing that doesn't include skin, politics, or any type of SJW bullshit. And if you like Star Wars and collectibles and movies, you found your fucking home, guys. Otherwise than that, God bless. Stay vigilant. Peace.